Where's your banner at? Let me see your banner. Okay. Where can we find you? Okay, we can find you there. <laughs> that makes it easy. You should put that up. Ain't no space. We're out of space. What do you breed? Um, a lot of things. Let me know. Okay, point out some. What's your, your, your favorite thing you breed? Heloderma. <laughs> Which ones? The beaded lizards. Oh, the beaded. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do the Vietnamese blues. I do Lichianus. Okay, where's your lychees? There's a couple right there. Over here? Yeah, I do beetles. And then the beetles right here? Video. That's one of the nicest bows you'll fucking see, dude. That is clean. Damn, what kind of bow is that? This is an Aztec at carbon snow. Aztec at carbon snow. Yeah. So is that like part with albino when you put the snow? Well, that makes. Uh, snow it's VPI T positive albino and T -positive. carbon, which is a uh, it's an anery. Okay. Gotcha. Let me shut this stuff up. Good. All right, I'm here with who? Bailey with Camel Cages. Okay, what do you do? I uh, build PVC cages and racks. Okay, can you show me a few of your uh, cages here? Yes, right here I got about one of my hatchling racks. Um, you know, any baby colubrid be perfect. And you said you made these tight for so that the I made them. I made them a little bit tight so that way you put any baby colubrid in here, nothing's getting out of here. Okay. Uh, and then if you want extra ventilation, you could uh, just poke some little tiny holes in the tubs, and you're good to go. And for the cages, uh, I did my, my traditional vent design back there. Oh yeah, I didn't see that. Also engraved with my name. And I'll put a light in there. Oh yeah, there you go. That's pretty cool, man. I included a one light socket. I can also do UVB. UVB too? Yep. Okay, and then what's up here? The This is the 2x2x2. Two by two by two. This is the 2x2, two by two, or sorry, 3x2x18. By by okay, that one, that would be cool, cool for like a conjure or something. Uh-huh, yeah. All right, and then where can we find you? You can find me at Camo Cages on Instagram uh, and Facebook, and then I'm, in, I'm based out of Arizona. All right, so if cool. you're local to Arizona, hit me up. Thank you. Yeah. Fake it till you make it, right? All right, I'm here with who? What's up, guys? Aaron Solano with uh, Solano Serpents. Okay, and what do you specialize in? So I specialize mainly in Boiga, and then I do also do other uncommon species of colubrids and pythons. Okay. Yeah. What's your favorite snake here that you brought? It could probably be something you're selling or not selling. My favorite would be my probably my adult mangrove snake, Boiga melanota. So this is the first species I got into, pretty much when I was 16, and they've stuck with me ever since. How fast is he? Oh, he, he's not too bad. He's 50-50. Some days he loves me, some days he hates me. Yeah. And then, um, what do we got over here? <laughs> yeah, over here we got a couple of random cooler birds I got available. We got some captive red Sulawesi black mangrove snakes. And then I actually brought some of my whole back mangroves up here as well. Okay. So I've got melanota and then I've actually got a caramel albino dendrophila. Yeah, right there. That yeah. one right there. That's yeah. probably my favorite here so far. Yeah. That's, I, mel that's dendrophila. Yep, right. dendrophila. So they only get about anywhere from four to six feet. Okay. Versus these guys, Melanota, can hit anywhere from six to eight feet. Okay. Yeah. I like these Candino um, ball pythons you have here. Yeah, man, they're cool. I got a buddy to actually produce these. So. Okay, and then where can, yeah, what's his name? Benny, man. Bionic <laughs> Benny. He might be behind the camera. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you. Well, you know what? I forgot about these things. <laughs> I know already so much in just one look. Yeah, that's cool. We got the Carpondros that are 50-50 carpet python and green tree python. I've got a big false water cobra, one of my breeder males, and then of course I've got the southern white lip to show off and make people drool. Yeah, definitely. And then you got another Carpondro right Yep, here. yep, other Carpondro right there. Alright, cool. Thank you, bro. Yep, thank you. There.
Yeah, how about yourself? Where can you find these ones at? I'm sorry? Where can you find them? Uh, they're found locally. They're local? Yep, yep. All these bats have been rescued here locally. There's about 12 different species of bats in the Sacramento Valley. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, what's what do I do? Company? What's your company? What do you guys do? Yeah, so we're planted ants. We only, we basically are exclusive to ants. Gotcha. And we do a bunch of different formicariums, uh, which are ant nests. And then we also do a bunch of different queen ants. So, can you show me something over here? Yeah, of course. So, if you come over here, if you take a look at here, I'm not sure if the glare is bad. But Which one? We got we got honey pot ants right here. Okay. So you can choose out your queen ant, and then from there on, you get to move forward with uh, starting your colony. Yeah. We got harvester ants right here. It's a little bit hard to see, but yeah. And then if you do go over here a little bit more, we do have the actual colonies, which are really really cool. Look at the reflection. Oh, over the there. Right oh yeah. There. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Other than that, um, if you are interested, we would love to be able to provide you with an ant colony anytime. Okay, well, where can we find you? What? Where can we find you again? At Berkeley, California. Berkeley, California at PlantedAnts.com. Oh, yeah. PlantedAnts.com. Okay. PlantedAnts.com. All, right. All right, thank you. Yeah, my name's Dave. Dave. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Yes. 
specialized just in New Caledonia geckos. These are, uh, uh, what are these ones? So Gargoyle? these ones are gargoyle geckos. Oh, these are gargoyles right here? Gargoyles, yes sir. And then they've, uh, he's got crested geckos also. 
Gotcha. That's basically all that Mike does. Uh, myself, my girlfriend, and I. So they have a Burmese star on, is, is there an Indian star and a Burmese star? And a Sri Lankan star. And a Sri Lankan star? And there's a Burmese mountain tortoise on top of that, right? Yep. So in right Burma. Yep. Wow. You guys, you have any of the Burmese mountains? Uh, I don't do well in Las Vegas. No? So it's too hot. Is that where you're from, from Las Vegas? Do you have any of the Sudan? Shit, coming up. <laughs> 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 that one is slammed 
I mean, like, I'll go around your arm. We'll just like, wrap arms really quick. This is my strong arm. Right here? Right there? Yeah. Cool. There you go. Alright. Well, you tell me a little bit about this. Well, so how long you got? The endurance aspiratum. They are also called the rear Appreciate that. Appreciate it, bro. That was a good experience. Like, yeah, I really. Nothing like that, huh? Dude, there's nothing like that. So, wow. What's really cool is that I, I just found out is that their venom actually has serotonin in it. Serotonin? Serotonin, yeah. Wow, so it's a good feeling. Yeah. And, a happy um, feeling. Their venom is actually just as potent um, as a rattlesnake. Um, so, but they're primarily neurotoxic and they do have some, like, some, some uh, cytotoxic properties to them. Right. Did you always approach him like underneath yeah. Has he you ever got an accidental bite by this guy? Um, not by him. He's pretty chill for the most part. Yeah, uh, that's why we're taking him out instead. Gotcha. I have been bit by by by, by a baby. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine that. Um, what would you compare their venom to? Um, to like any? What kind of snake would you compare their venom to? Um, so according according uh, to like. To like studies, it's actually pretty similar uh, to that of uh, Aatrox. Yeah, so then, hey, what? Aatrox. So Aatrox. Then, uh, okay. Diamondback yeah. Snake. Wow. But uh, their venom delivery yeah, system is uh, very uh, not very good at all. Uh, um, they don't. They can't inject venom. Okay. So instead, they do have uh, like little tiny <laughs> grooves in their teeth. Uh, okay. Um, uh, and so they have to bite uh, and then latch on and so, uh, chew onto you in order for them to actually. Gotcha. So it's similar to uh, like like a rear fang venomous snake almost. Yes. Yeah. They chew onto you. Yeah, and, and so there's no pressurized delivery system at all. It's just um, it just kind of leeches into your um, into your body. So like the more that they bite on, the more venom you're definitely gonna get. Okay, cool. And what what's your guys' uh, company over here? All right. Cool. All right. Thank you, man. Okay, we're here with Tyler from the Serpentarium. You already know. Serp gang. Okay. And uh, what, what do you guys have over here at guys' booth? So this year we focus a lot more on our product and especially our Lugardi brand. Our Lugardi brand is blowing up right now, so we have started to expand more and more. You're talking away, you're walking away with me. What's up? Woo! What's up? So with Lugardi, you know, we've come out with a couple different things. We got everything you could need. We got transfer substrate, millipede, nisopod substrate. We're doing leaf litter. We're coming out with a whole brand new line of bioactive substrate right now, which is going to be huge. Um, it's going to be one of the top bioactive substrates on the market. And something that I know you're looking forward to seeing is right over here. Boom. False water cobra babies. Wow. That's so, a good price too. These guys right now, we had about 38 this season. Um, we're doing hypos, normals, and we're hopefully gonna produce the first super hypos that are gonna come out with these guys. So that's gonna be super That'd sick. Be badass. What else do you guys have here? You can show me. Show me uh, two more things. This guy. Out. You want to come out? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to come out, huh? You want to come out? He missed me by. No, I'll edit it. I'll edit it. Anyway, <laughs> I won't put that in. We got the monkey tail skink. These guys are super cool. Live in colonies. One of my personal favorite skinks. And they also have the bite force to like 
almost take your pinky clean off, which is also super cool for me. Another big favorite of yours. Yeah, definitely. We got the berms. I know. I just brought my what I my goal here today was to just basically bring all the animals that I knew I could sell to you. So, <laughs> You're not lying. That is pretty good. Good job on that. We got the falsies. Uh, other than that, another highlight of today is so, the cool thing about the Egyptian euros is they get absolutely massive. Are you going to show me right here? Yep, we're going to slide in right here. So right now, I want to buy this thing so bad, dude, for this price. Like, Drew, the owner, he actually has one himself, and it's already full grown. That thing is no joke, like, like that. Damn. But this dude is super cool. Boom. Egyptian Euro. I think it is badass. I know, dude. It's a focus. That dinosaur tail. Right there. Wow. You guys are super sick. These guys get really colorful too, right? They get a lot of color? No, that's the ornates. Oh, that's ornate. Ornates are the ones with color. These guys are known for their size. So okay, this is the big, biggest, biggest, biggest Euro. Biggest pieces of Euro. But other than that, main focus today is obviously we're all out here, have fun, meet a lot of people, have a lot of good people come up, like Benny, come talk to us. Um, I wanna give a huge shout out to Benny, my man behind the camera right now. Dude is a killer. He is super good with reptiles. If you guys are watching his channel, then you're the problem. Thank you, Ralph. Later.